What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. That's that? Wow. Glad I wasted my time talking to you. Fascinating. You again? You here to waste my time? Yep, me again. I want your help. I want to harness my brutality. I'm not some pathetic guidance counselor, but I'll help you help yourself. Bring some chaos. Somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Zaya Lee and Indy Hartwell could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring. martial arts background. Isaiah is certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. She's earned that confidence, Saxton, and she really is impressive. Corey, I'll tell you one thing, she's not just impressive for her age. Indy outshines almost anyone who steps in the ring with her.
We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. She's taking things to ringside. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh, oh, oh. And now she's getting back into the ring. Ooh, bullseye. Things taking a turn for her now. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Ooh, house kick. This is gonna be nasty kick right to the gun. And another. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. No telling what she'll find under the ring here. Tiger suplex. Oh, the back of the neck. She steers clear of that one. Quick takedown there. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. And now what is she doing? Leaving the ring? She's taking time to strategize, Saxton. It's being smart. A well-timed dodge. Re-entering the ring now. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, <laughs> she heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Tracking the kendo stick across the head. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. I don't know what they're looking for here. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. Continually punishing man. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. She's back in, ready to go. Oh, what a kick! Oh, my God! Her shoulders are down! Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Waist lock. Oh, and the pace of things really catching up to Indy Hartwell there. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Back suplex! Kick lands. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Oh! What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh my gosh! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. And Zaya escapes danger. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Oh, jeez. And back into the ring she goes. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor DDT. That could be it. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Tough spot for Indy. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. A lot of tension being used. And a kick. into the corner. Look out. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. DT! Incredible. She might be in some trouble now. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Sweeps the... Uh oh She saw that one coming. Good defense. Oh, man. Hartwell struggling to defend herself. Hartwell needs to find that spot. And back in the ring we go. Oh, and a big clothesline. 
She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Zia Lee is fired up and wants this crowd to know. Face first. Now set up by the Koji clutch locked in. Trapped and nowhere to. She breaks the hold. Uh oh. Oh, quite an effective counter. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offense of her own in. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. She's just appearing powerless to each attack. Yeah, she keeps getting cut. victory in this triple threat match. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck. Dare I say, tonight's winner showed all three in victory. It's Cap with a new outfit to go with her new attitude. They schedule four, one fall. Making her way to the ring from Jerusalem, Israel. Ah! We've seen changes in attitude before, but this is wild, Corey. You're not kidding. I don't know where Cap's been hiding this, but I love it. If she fights like she looks, her opponent's going to be spitting out teeth. We're about to see if Cap's new threat yes, match who she really is. before joining WWE, trained by Booker T. You can't judge her by the company she keeps, but she is definitely living up to her hype. to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring to one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Roxanne fired up, urging the crowd to get there, too. Powerbomb position. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Suplex. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Incredible athleticism. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Ouch! Caught her. Watch her set up in the corner. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Ooh, solid contact there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. This one is headed outside, guys. Whoa. 
Delivered into the barricade. Boom, head kick connects. Ooh, ooh, man. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Excellent ring IQ to see the ref's count and return to the ring in time. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Turned that one around. Oh, look at head scissors. DDT! Incredible. Lining up for something spectacular. Big clothesline. Oh, she's starting to drag a little bit. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. From the top. Reckless attack off the top. Face first. Oh, setting up. Now the Koji clutch locked in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Whoa. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Placing them into the corner. Well, Dodge in the corner, followed by an overhead kick. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Boom! Perez caught by surprise. To the sky. Dive front drop kick. She's looking to put Roxanne away. Muscling up their opponent, Fireman's carry position. Going for the pin on Roxanne. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Roxanne may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. I can see you. I can see you. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Roxanne Perez in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again, Again into that turnbuckle. I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. 
Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system! By destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way! An elite college athlete makes her WWE debut. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. Carly Prime! Prime has her work cut out for her tonight. Damn right she does. She doesn't even know who she's facing. No scouting report to rely on, just pure adrenaline, skill, and a little bit of luck. Carly Prime looks prime for her WWE debut. Here's the captain, accompanied to the ring by Rhea Ripley. And from Jerusalem, Israel, Alex! Carly Klein might be a former G1 athlete, but is she ready for the sheer violence of the cat with Rhea Ripley in her ear? Let me answer that for you, Cole. No. showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. Oh, man. Tossed with the arm drag. Oh! Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Waistlock suplex. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Oh, drop kick. Laser focused on the knee and taking it out with precision. Mm. Looping into the wheelbarrow, up and around into the DDT. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Hoping to compromise that knee joint completely. Just hot shot it to the outside. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. You gotta be kidding me. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. She might be in some trouble now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Measuring their opponent. Attempt to clothesline. Countered into an STO. And Carly needed that badly. Carly Prime showing it's not a time for lying down. It's a time for fighting back. Double leg takedown. Stop! And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Hoist their opponent up for a fireman's carry. And sent down into a leg drop. Very unique. Glazed eyes on Carly now. Two! I'm still not sure what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the Cat. It looks like we're getting a repeat of the last match. This Ross 
superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? And apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure.